This one's called Information for Parents of Kids Returning to School. Hey folks, I'm Dr. Jeff Williams with Creekstone Integrated Medical right here in Amarillo, Texas. And let's talk about backpacks and school physicals, shall we? Let's get the easiest information out of the way right now real quickly. Every school age athlete has to have a physical exam before school starts and it needs to be done by a healthcare provider. Now that we're a medical clinic, we're doing physical exams for your kiddos right here at Creekstone with our nurse practitioner, Jason Hathaway. They only cost $25 and can be performed quickly. So as a busy parent, you can get that item checked off of your list quickly, easily, and inexpensively. Call 355-3000 and let's get your child's physical wrapped up. Now, Next, your kid is going to be carrying a backpack to school this year, and if it's like the COVID-style year that we had in 2020, there's going to be no lockers for the kiddos to store their stuff, so they're going to be carrying everything they need for school right there on their backs. Now that's a recipe for a bad back when you consider they'll be carrying all of that weight throughout the day all year long. For that reason, and as a chiropractor, I think it's best to do our yearly blog and video on backpack safety and help you and your kids be responsible about the way they're using backpacks day to day. Prior to the pandemic becoming such a miserable part of our lives, 96% of children aged 8 to 12 years old carried backpacks throughout their days, and it's estimated that around a third of those kids didn't do it correctly. In a way, that causes pain or dysfunction. This is happening at a time when they're still growing and they're adapting. That, of course, is not an ideal combination. Children absolutely deal with back pain too. It's not just us old people that suffer from it. They too have the strains and stresses of normal life. Don't you remember being that awkward age in junior high? Of course you do. We all do. These stresses can be compounded by bad habits that the kids are developing. Habits like looking down at their electronic devices the majority of the day carrying backpacks improperly, or sitting in front of the TV playing video games for hours on end. This sort of deal, it's going to have consequences. You're going to just mark my words. They will pay for that. So let's get to the main points here and directives on backpack safety for your children. Here are some general rules and guidelines that you can print out, you can cut out, paste on your refrigerator as a reminder each day when they head off to school. Whatever works for you. So. A bigger backpack is not a better backpack. When you buy a bigger house, you just get more stuff to put in your bigger house. If you ladies get a bigger purse, you usually get more stuff to put into it. So now you also have a heavier purse. It should be large enough to carry the essentials, but no bigger than that. No heavier than 15% of the child's body weight. I'm gonna repeat that. No heavier than 15% of the child's body weight. Weight is the most concerning aspect of carrying things around all day. It's the key factor delivering stress to the child on a day-to-day -day basis. For a kid that weighs 150 pounds, the backpack should be no heavier than 22 and a half pounds. For a child weighing 100 pounds, it cannot be any heavier than 15 pounds. If you're mathematically challenged, Simply enter your child's weight into a calculator and then multiply their weight by 0.15. That'll give you the weight the backpack should not exceed. Super simple. And it's our duty as parents to monitor through the year as we know kids like to add stuff to those backpacks without mentioning it to their parents. Heavy backpacks, they cause a forward lean. When the backpack is overloaded, it has a tendency to pull down on the shoulders. And in response, the children commonly adopt a posture of bending forward to carry more of the weight on their backs in an effort to compensate and reduce the strain on their shoulders. This is not a good scenario in biomechanical terms, I, I'm here to tell you. It puts a good amount of strain on low back discs, not to mention other issues like muscle imbalances and muscle strain. Next, get the double wide. The width of shoulder straps is definitely worth talking about. Very thin shoulder straps kind of dig into the child's shoulders and can literally ultimately cause nerve or circulatory issues. Wide straps are less likely to cause these types of issues. 
That and recall, no heavier than 15% of the child's body weight, okay? Next, tighten the straps. Tightening the straps makes the bag hang closer to the child's body, keeping it from swinging around and placing odd and unbalanced stresses on the little bodies. Next, no low hangers. Do not allow the bottom of the bag to hang lower than four inches. That's about four inches. Four inches below the child's belt line. Low hanging bags can cause the child to develop a forward leaning posture. That leads to increased stress and strain on the low back and there's just no logical reason for it in the first place. Other than trying to look cool and we know how that goes with kids. Now, use both straps, okay? Using both straps when carrying the backpack is key. When they only use one strap over one shoulder, the weight is carried only on the one side rather than distributing the load evenly across the body. This causes the kiddo to lean the other way in an effort to compensate. So if it's on this shoulder, they're going to lean this way. Biomechanically, it's a bad idea. Certainly when this scenario repeats itself day in and day out for months on end. Next, adjustable straps. Adjustable straps should be used. They allow the parent to more effectively fit the bag to the child, keeping the bottom of the bag at or above the belt line and held closer and tighter to the body for a good fit. Let us assume your child is not fussing about their backpack. In fact, it's just the opposite. They're packing more and more stuff into it and they're not telling you about it. How can you identify problems on your own without them telling you? We're pretty good at that with parents, as, as parents, right? Now the struggle is real. The struggle, that's the key word there. When you see the kiddo struggling a bit to pick the backpack up and get it on their shoulders, then you know the bag is clearly too heavy. Remember, no more than 15% of their body weight. Another clue is a forward lean, as we mentioned. In an attempt to take the pressure off of the shoulders and carry more of the weight on the back itself, children commonly adopt a forward-leaning posture. That's another clear sign that the bag is too heavy. Okay, maybe they're gripping a little bit, all right? If your child does start complaining of neck and or back pain unrelated to any activity like uh, sports or some traumatic event, well, then it's likely due to the backpack and attention should be given to its proper use. Once you really think about backpack safety a little bit, it's really very intuitive and a bit common sense. Unfortunately, not all of us know the basics. And because of this, I'd ask you to share with your network of parents so that we can make sure the children are carrying them correctly and preventing unnecessary back pain going forward. They got enough to worry about in school. Back pain shouldn't be part of it. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, comment, and share. If you're watching on Facebook, like, comment, and share. Help me get the message out. The kiddos could use the help too. If you're from the Amarillo area or you're going to be passing through and you need to be seen by either our medical professional, our chiropractic provider, massage therapist, or acupuncturist, call us at 355-3000. We'll get you on the schedule and we'll see you soon. Again, I'm Dr. Jeff Williams. Take care. Let's meet back here next week.